All right, Sanye, what's good with you? Not much. My fucking sister. So, what's been going on with you? I know you're working on your reality show, Fache Models. I know you've been doing your thing with the photo shoots. I know you got models, you know, and you're, uh... Yeah, I'm actually looking for two more, so if you're watching this... I'll oh, yeah, and I know your husband, Halo, is doing his thing on the yeah. music level, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. The guy that just dropped that weird Halloween video. That's my yeah. brother, though. So, how do you feel about, you know, what's going on in entertainment now on the modeling side? You know, all the models, you know, kind of want to be... You know, naked and shit. You know, that's what us as that's, artists like. I feel like, you know, every model is different. That's why you got to stay in your own lane. Like, you have high fashion models. Right. You have booty models. You have okay. magazine models. You have, you know, runway models that just strictly do runway. Okay. So, I, I don't have nothing against no model that's pertaining to their field. Because every model, some of them can't do all of them. You have some that can do all of it, you know. Okay. So, I, I more more so handle like the high fashion, the editorial models, and the runway models. That's my okay. That's my passion. So let's say a company, you know, probably at Playboy wants to hire you. Are you taking those naked pics of the girls? Like if you were the photographer? Uh. Fifty thousand bucks. See, money talks, but like I probably would take the job, but that's not my that's not my passion. Like. Like, I wouldn't, that wouldn't be my own project. I'm doing it under them. But, like, me, I'm more so focused on building my own empire, building okay. my own stuff. So. Yeah, and it's called Fache Models is, is the brand yes. name. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, actually, Fache Models, we're going to be airing that next month in December. Be on the lookout for that. We have some amazing people we're working with, some okay. talented people out there. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so what is this reality show mainly about? You know, cause um, I'm seeing everything. Every day you're hitting me up. Yeah. Mm. Okay, well, first, uh, I feel like Gary has talent Gary has models Gary has photographers you know a lot of people trying to do the same stuff now in this show I feel like I'm displaying the struggles that models endure every day okay. trying to get ready for a photo shoot the behind the scenes their life other than just doing the uh, modeling work like things they have to endure like people tell okay. them like bash them and like oh you're not a model you're not gonna make it just like what we have to really deal with of other photographers bashing on the photographer oh your pictures whack or your pictures don't compare to this photographer or you know just things that we endure like having a room full of a lot of females one photographer all these different models you're gonna endure so many different personalities people getting angry people right. not listening people not paying attention you know just people showing up late like you're gonna experience all that. I just right. want people to really see the behind the scenes on how this stuff actually works Cause people be like oh they see a photo shoot like oh I bet that's easy oh yeah like it actually takes craft time patience like even editing is a craft like you actually like it's a work it's a nine to five okay like, for real for real like um and then as far as the artist side like the music part like they go through some i know people watch love and hip-hop you see right. the stuff they deal with like it ain't just oh we going in the studio we making this record boom boom bam we go shoot this video and it's all over like we deal with stuff like we get bullied just like everybody else um social media bullying cyber bullying what you want to call it like trolling we, i just yes, block like, people i just i ain't got all time that, like oh you're not gonna make it uh well it's just another photographer another gary photographer we ain't making another gary right uh, you get people like you post a picture they know the picture is hot they not go share it because if you're not popular say so you're not going to get them shares or them likes that you deserve yeah. you know what i'm saying True. Yeah, it's a popularity contest, definitely out in Gary. Um, another, I want to actually talk about this R and R Wars thing that's actually going to take place too, because I know there's a lot of us as entertainers from Northwest Indiana kind of take it kind of serious. I see people dress up, including my homies is under my label. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people win awards, people fight about that list, that rep rapper list. Mm -hmm. So, um, what's the R and R wars basically about, and what does it mean um, to you? Well, this is not my thing, but I can tell you from what I know. This is probably not. I can't really speak on her, but Smiley, check her out. Her name oh, is that. Tasha Humphrey on um, Facebook. Check out who it is. Blog. Um, okay. She's real dope. She's a good friend of mine. Um, I think this one is going to say that was like third or fourth annual R and R awards, but um, she did hit me up this year. I'm going to actually be awarding some of the awards, like um, passing out some of the awards to the people that win and stuff. I actually was nominated for two categories best creative eye and who's got the look so okay. thank you for everybody that did nominate me I, even if i don't win the award i just really thank you i'm not a hater just thanks for you know thinking about me to even put me on a nomination okay okay so now with the modeling and everything what made you want to get into photography um uh, growing up like i was more so not into photography like i like to okay. take pictures of myself i actually was a model at one point okay and I did, you know, sports and stuff like that. I was always like the one that was like, oh, you dress so weird. Like, you know, people always used to tell me that. 
or the way I wore my hair or anything. My, I used to wear a lot of makeup in high school when I was on a modeling trip. I wore heels and we had to wear it every Friday and stuff. So like I was always into that stuff. And you love and dressing up. Yes. So mm -hmm. I'm like, and then like I had started um, actually watching America's Next Top Model. Okay. I'm like, man, this stuff is legit. You know, like, and then I started like feeling like, you know what, I can't really model. I don't have the height that they got, you know, like. I would more so have to, that's gonna say you gotta stay in your lane. Like, I would more so be like, like fitness model. Now that's what I pertain myself as a fitness model and stuff like that. I don't have the height to really do runway or, you know, like really like in the industry, like I'm too short. Right. So I'm like, you know what? Like, I can find another way to do it. So one day I was like, you know, let me sell and buy a camera. And um, like from there, I was just practicing. I did not know what I was doing. Like, my pictures was blurry. I was getting frustrated. I wanted to give up. I think my first camera was like a, um, a freaking Sony. And I yep. did not know how to work the camera at all. I didn't know nothing. Like, I was YouTubing it. Like, I was trying to watch the YouTube video. I'm trying to focus. I'm like, F stop. And I'm like, uh, explore. I'm like, what the hell? And then, like, I met this awesome guy named Danny Black. <laughs> that man is amazing. Okay. And, like, he was, like, mentoring me and, like, you know, really showing me stuff. Like, because he seen, like, how I was hustling. I was even putting on whack pictures up. Like, I was taking pictures. I was hustling. Like, I didn't know really what I was doing, but I was still not afraid to post my pictures. Okay. And I got a hold of him. He seen, like, the gift in me. He was, like, always just to tell him, like, saying, yeah, you're going to be the biggest thing come out of Gary. Like, I didn't, like, really think that or, you know, like, I'm like, oh, he's just talking. Like, um, as I was meeting more and more people, they was telling me this. And I'm like, you know what, maybe I should start listening to what people say. And then once I went to church and someone was telling me the same thing, like, it's going to be three people that's going to take you far. It was like, it's going to be um, the three, like, y'all going to be like the three masketeers or whatever. And um, I just, like, started, like, really, like, praying on it and praying on it. And as of today, I'm about almost two months not working on that. And in fact, just really taking my craft serious. So now, photography-wise, like, from me starting from nothing, like, this been four years ago, picking up that first Sony camera now, like, I just feel like I can still learn more, but I feel like I'm hell of a lot better like my pictures are awesome like quality a1 i can edit my ass off so like i just feel like i really worked hard for where where i'm at right now okay now when i now i got into photography at a very young age now that inspired me to actually want to do film you know i started feeling like you know videos was more real than photography so you don't ever think about doing other things with that because you know nowadays in entertainment everything matters you know mm -hmm. everything leads to everything so have you ever thought about directing videos editing um, videos I actually, actually done it uh okay uh kayla and me actually did a commercial it was for a fashe and i okay. shot that and i edited that myself it was real like it's like a horror i'm i'm always a horror like it was a horror high fashion commercial i thought it was super different like okay. actually um give y'all the link to that to view that um because at one point I was trying to come out with a magazine, which I feel like I still can do that. Like, now that I'm thinking about, like, Fashe Models TV show, then, like, as the stuff airing on the show can be all put into an editorial magazine. Okay. Um, so maybe that's God working in his mysterious ways. Interesting. It just hit me. Okay. okay. Um, but, yeah, I do my own YouTube editorials and stuff like that. So, I do know how to shoot videos. Right. It's just I don't try to put too much on myself. Okay. Now... I want to talk about, you know, the homie Kevin V. Catino. You know, he's doing his thing right now. What's your relationship with him? Because this guy is everywhere. Yeah. Empire. <laughs> fucking everywhere, man. Um, I actually met him through Danny. Um, he tagged me because he was in the search for a photographer. This was his last, um, I don't know if you've seen um, his last big fashion show that he brought in here. I was there. I, what was the, the African thing? That was pretty dope. No. Okay. Uh, it was last year. Um, he had a... Oh no! Really I didn't. Like, it was almost like he brought New York Fashion Week. It's a uh, Gary. Oh damn! But um, I was one of the photographers. I helped him do his promo work and stuff to um, promote the show and stuff. So like we did like different like scenes and stuff like for the models. Like probably like working like 10, 16 models at one time in one room. That's all I was saying. Like I say, it gets stressful. And um, he actually like inspired me to be a part of the show because he was seeing how I was on the blue jean and at the time I was doing like right. this newspaper series. He was like, hey, sis, you ever thought about being a part of the show? And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, what do you mean? He's like, I'm like, being a part of the show doing what? He was like a fashion designer. I'm like, no. <laughs> and, like, from there, like, I took off. Um, I went to L.A. with that. I did a show in Chicago with Raw oh, wow. and stuff like that. So, I'm like, like, the way things happen in my life is just, like, it'd be so mysterical. Like, like I don't expect for it to happen. Like, nothing I plan. Like, it just mysteriously creep up on me. Like, okay. for real, for real. 